Hey, this is Leah and Laura with the story of the stars and here we are at the final story and this is just his overall story uh, which I'm so excited about because I don't know about you but when I was putting together uh, the material for the other constellations I'm like what's the big picture what's it what's the overall story like what's the big picture um, and I kind of was trying to force some conclusions in my mind and whatever, but on the very last day that I had to work on this, um, God brought it all together. So it was just so beautiful in his timing. He's good at that. He is really good <laughs> at that. Um, so something I didn't fully notice before is that even in the main zodiacs is a characteristic of Jesus. So you'll see it in a minute, but isn't that amazing? I guess it wasn't hard for God of the universe to make that possible, <laughs> um, seeing how he was the one who named them, right? Another cool thing I learned as I was researching was that the constellations are split up into three acts. Uh, act one, Jesus, the promised Messiah, is coming and his purpose. Act two, Jesus and the lives of mankind to give them purpose. And act three, Jesus of is returning quickly and his purpose. The following I put together, uh, I put together star names into one sentence so that you could make sense, uh, uh, so we could all see uh, the overall picture that God is trying to write in the stars, or not trying to write, but he has written in the stars. I want you to sit and imagine that you're watching a concert or reading the best part, the best story ever uh, read by the author. This is God's artwork with you as his masterpiece. And I hope you enjoy this glorious performance of God's story in the stars. Act one, Jesus, the promised Messiah. The Virgo, the promised seed, will be born of a virgin. He is the desired one, the son of God. He is fully man, fully God, and conquered death. He is the great shepherd coming back to rule his flock. Libra, the price is paid on the scales of justice. The price is either atoned for or is, uh, send them into the reality of hell's fire. The price was paid on a cross. The price was a was paid by a willing, willing slaying victim. The price was meant. Uh, the price was paid. Oh gosh, I'm gonna go back and okay. do that. That's okay. okay. For some reason, these the price meant okay. The price meant apparently okay. So that was right. <clears throat> Libra. The price is paid on the scales of justice. The price is either atoned for, or send them into the reality of hell's fire. The price was paid on a cross. The price was paid by a willing, slain victim. The price meant a crown would be given. Scorpio, the promised one is wounded by the one who is uh, perverse, accursed, and brings war. He wants, uh, he wants the heavenly throne. Messiah will battle the serpent. Messiah will come and defeat the enemy once and for all. Sagittarius, the mighty one will come as a conqueror. He will be exalted. Judgment and fire will be poured out on the earth. The dragon will be trodden down. Act 2. Jesus for mankind. Capricorn, the atonement sacrifice was made for all mankind. Divine justice destroying death sting. The wounding brought blood to, to bring us freedom. Pour, uh, the pouring out of the Holy Spirit. Aquarius, Aquarius, the one who left and is returning, pours out a stream of living water, the Holy Spirit. The fish receives the living water. The promised chief who causes the water to overflow is returning from afar, is coming with much joy and very quickly. The Lord and judge left and will return very fast in a circle, shining forth in glory. Pisces, the sun, S-U-N or S-O-N, like the big picture, and the bright morning star draws the united and upheld multitudes to himself. The multitudes are united with a common bond. A woman is struck down, weak and waiting to be saved and set free. The promised crown king and redeemer is in the center of everything and is coming as quickly as in a circle. 
Aries, the ram bound, wounded, and slain to become exalted, uplifted, and high chief. The enthroned daughter of, a, of splendor holding the branch of victory. The largest monster in the sky, the enemy of the fish, is held back, chained, and overthrown by the ram. Persis, uh, okay, the breaker of chains, comes to cut off the head of the adversary and to save the chained woman and carry her away. Act 3. Jesus is coming! Taurus, the rushing and raging bull, is coming back to break the seal and release his wrath to wound and govern the world. The one coming forth as light is coming quickly, as promised, and will cut off the head of the enemy completely. The river of the judge, judge flows under the foot of the light of heaven, which is Orion. The good shepherd who pours it, poured himself out protects his kids. The righteous king and the promised Messiah, God, are returning for battle to praise and uh, for battle and to praise to rule the world. Rule the rule the world. I'm gonna say that one again. <clears throat> the right Gemini, the righteous king, and the promised Messiah, God, are returning for battle and praise to rule the world. The hare is treading underfoot. The prince who shall come and the redeemer who completes cancer the resting place for the travelers who have been embraced those who are a part of the family will never be let go of the center of the kids the center of the kids that are waiting for him to come the flock is assembled to separate the goats from the lambs the promised ship returning from afar with the possession of him that comes finally leo the lord who comes quickly will Come shining forth, judge the earth, tread the enemy underfoot, be exalted among the nations, and be joined with his bride. The father of lies, the abhorred, will be separated, excluded, and put out of the way. The deceiver is being torn to shreds. The cup of God's wrath and the curse is inflicted, and the raven is piercing and tearing apart those against the lion. Uh, Revelation 21, 1-7 says, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea no longer existed. I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice from the throne, Look, God is dwelling with humanity, and he will live with them. He will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will no longer exist. Grief, crying, and pain will no longer exist because the previous things have passed away. Then the one seated on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. He also said, Write, because these words are faithful and true. And he said to me, It is done. The alpha, I, am, uh, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give water as a gift to the thirsty from the spring of life. The victor will inherit these things. I will be his God and he will be my son. For those who follow Jesus, the story never ends. It only gets better. The closest to hell they will ever get is this side of heaven. The best is yet to come. <laughs> For those who do not follow Jesus, the story will end just like that. Another story to add to your collection. This story kept on the shelf without action in your life will end there and continue into eternity, separated from Jesus, which is the eternal death in hell. Satan, the great deceiver, doesn't want you to believe the truth. And you want to know why? He's not looking for people to rule because he doesn't have any, of, any rulership in hell because he's gonna be there too. He's not looking for people to hang out with because there's no connection with others in hell. He wants to take people out because he is against God, and that is his only reason. Um, you could be deceiving yourself, believing that what you have, um, that what you have is better that's within you. You may think that you can handle your life on your own, and everything that we have talked about is just a myth. Um, you could be thinking that religion is just, um, just a way to brainwash the masses to fulfill some weird, weird power struggle of some leaders. You may think you're good enough, which God totally, and God would totally recognize that. 
Um, but what Jesus is trying to do in the, his story is cry out for you to see the truth of him and his purpose on earth. He died because you are not good enough on your own. He willingly gave his life for you so you not only can have eternal life in heaven, which is totally worth it in and of itself, but that you can have a life-giving and satisfying life right now. So you have three different applications for hearing the story that Jesus has in the stars. One, you can do nothing, which could directly affect your eternal standing with God. Two, you can make a decision to follow Jesus right now by faith, um, which you just need to tell Jesus that that's what you want and make and ask him to guide you and lead you from there. Or three, you can share the good news with someone who needs Jesus in their life. Whether you share the story of the stars um, or just share the gospel with a friend over coffee, however you do it is the right way to do it. In love, gentleness, and with listening ears, right? So as you can see, this is your choose, this is kind of like a choose your own adventure. Um, where will your journey take you next? I really hope it's with Jesus. Yes. So if you could keep in touch, we would love, we would love that. So you can click the little button uh, to send us an email if you want, if you have made a decision, if you chose the second option and through any of these videos, uh, let us know uh, by clicking the button that you made a decision and we want to send you something. We want to send you uh, something that's going to help you grow, a little Bible study that will help you grow and stay connected and help and um, love and serve you any way we can. And uh, also check out the tab on the Gospel of the Stars website.com website that says um, what now or new believers. Click that and that has a bunch of great stuff that will really help you as well. But if you already have made that decision, uh, we would love your help sharing these videos because yes. we know that there is people all over the world <clears throat> that have never heard of who Jesus is and what he has done for them. Mm -hmm. And we, we want you to um, get a chance to share about Jesus and this is a great avenue to do that. So mm -hmm. you can just click on any of the, the videos, uh, share, you can share to Facebook, you can share to Twitter, uh, however, You'd like to do that you you can share more than once if you want to and you can even make a, a facebook ad uh, using these videos pointing them into other people groups um, in different countries but we can make another video explaining that so thank you for joining us for this journey it has been so neat to learn mm -hmm. and get to research how god has revealed himself through the story of the stars and we hope that you have grown in your awe of God and your love for him as a result of joining with, join us.